Welcome back to the Sandbox. I'm so happy you came by to play with me today. We're going to continue now at Camp Buddy and uh, see if we can't, A, unravel this mystery about what has happened in the past that is threatening to close the camp and that apparently made Taiga the way Taiga is, and B, to see if we can't uh, find our way into Yoichi's heart a bit. Um, so, we have left our cabin after being confronted by Taiga and his squad, and then Goro saved me, basically, but then he kind of yelled at me, and so now we, here we are in the mess hall. Oh, guys, there's Katero! Uh, sorry, I'm late, everyone. Hey, what took you so long? We were all waiting for you. Oh, really? Weren't you the one who couldn't wait to dig in? Shush, wolf boy. Were you able to wash up, Katero? You look exhausted. He must be hungry. Here, Katero, we saved some for you. Oh, Hunter. Oh, God. You're so sweet. Thank you, Hunter. Heh. <laughs> You're lucky there's still some left. This place was jam-packed earlier. Huh. You're acting a bit weird, Katero. Did something happen? Ah, uh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm fine. I I'm just hungry. Huh, you're not fooling me. I, I was just trying to recall what happened the past few days for my journal entry for tonight. Oh? Well, why didn't you say so? Hey, guys, how about we help Katero complete his journal entry right now? Oh, that sounds splendid. But my journal is back at the cabin. No, I've got it right here. What the fuck, Hero, you stole my journal? Dude. That's my journal. Since when have you had it, Hero? <laughs> I'm always prepared when it comes to you, Katero. Oh, man, this guy. Oh, so you guys were talking about that stupid notebook. Heh, <laughs> don't act like you don't care. You've been yapping all day about whether you're in his journal or not. I bet you've already sneaked a peek at it. Hey, you're one to talk. I'm not the one who secretly stole it from Katero. That's a good point, Yoichi, I, and thank you. And besides, I bet I'm not even in that stupid journal. I've actually put you in already, Yoichi. I'm pretty sure all of us are included in that journal, right, Katero? That's right, Natsumi. E even me? Definitely, Hunter. I must be the one with the most exposure so far. I'm his best friend, after all. <laughs> Well, let's get started, shall we? What was your last entry, Katero? Uh, the last one I wrote was for the second day, the day we prepared for the trip. Oh, then you'll have fun writing up the next one. It was your first outdoor camping trip, after all. What part do you remember the most about that day? The... oh, okay. The tent, the dinner, the campfire, the marshmallows. Okay, so each of these obviously corresponds to one of the guys, right? We we helped Hunter set up the tent. Uh, Hero is always associated with food. Natsumi taught us how to build a campfire. And Yuichi gave us marshmallows. Well, I remember how we roasted marshmallows together over the campfire. And Yoichi is the first person to comment. So if my suspicions are correct, the comment corresponds with him. Hey, just remember, it was all thanks to me that we had extra marshmallows to eat that night, huh? Hero's idea to add chocolate and crackers to the marshmallows made it a lot tastier. Oh yeah, whoever thought that marshmallows could taste so good? Oh really, Yuichi? You like my cooking? Hey, don't get so full of yourself, alright? I was just talking about the marshmallows. Well, now that we've recalled that one important event of Katero's day, I think we can start writing his entry. Are we going to play the mini game? Yes, we are. Yep, drag the letters. We've been through all of this. Okay, ready to go. Y, E, S. Earn the badge. I earned this badge by reading books. Uh, bookworm. It's the one that Hunter has. Uh, 
I use this to start a campfire. That would be the flint. If you mix marshmallows, chocolate, and crackers together, you make s'mores. Get up there. Who was the white-haired guy with Sito? That was Felix. I stole this from Mr. Perfect's laundry. Uh, that would be underwear. Yay, we did it. Thanks, guys. You were a big help. Whew, I think that's it for today. Now, in the instructions, it talks about you earn gold stars and you can spend those on badges, but I haven't ever been taken to, like, the badge mart <laughs> in order to spend my stars, so I don't know. Am I missing it? I'm not sure. I'm not sure when that happens. Okay, Whew, I think that's it for today. Ah, it's a good thing we finished just before the Scoutmasters turned off the lights. Wow, we stayed here for a long time. And that was fun, wasn't it? I have to say, I'm surprised Yoichi stayed until we finished. Hey, don't get me wrong. I just had nothing else going on for tonight, okay? Well, now that everything's done, let's call it a day. It's closing time anyway. Let's head back to our cabin and get some rest. Hey... Thank you again for helping me fill up the journal tonight, everyone. Ah, don't mention it, Katero. Just tell us if you ever need someone to help you recall the events of the day. I was thankful I was able to spend time with everyone tonight. I thought I would stay upset over that incident with Sir Goro and Taiga, but I'm lucky I have my friends by my side to help cheer me up. Friends are awesome. You know, what's funny about this game is that in some ways it's very sort of elementary, like aimed at preteens, and yet it's also very grown up. And uh, it's uh, kind of a weird mixture in some ways, but you know what? It, it's, it's okay. Wake up, everyone. Get up, get up. Huh? Uh, I'm still sleepy. Hmm. Uh, what's going on? Scoutmaster Yoshi, you're back. What did you do yesterday, Scoutmaster Yoshi? I was busy preparing a special surprise for all of you. As your Scoutmaster, I vowed to provide you all with the endless amount of fun activities where you also learn plenty of important things. I'm a leader that supports recreation and entertainment amongst all my campers. You'll never have a dull day with me around. And it's my job as a scoutmaster. Hey, would you keep it down? I'm trying to sleep over here. Don't you have to be annoying somewhere else? Ha <laughs> ha, a grump in the morning as always, Yoichi. I want you all to get changed into your uniforms in preparation for our exciting activity. I'll see all of you outside for our morning assembly. Reveille. You heard the scoutmaster. Everyone, let's get dressed up. Oh, I wonder what we'll be doing today. I'm really curious too, Hero. Huh. <laughs> yeah, don't expect too much. I'm sure it'll be something lame again. All right. Looks like everyone's here. Except Taiga, Felix, Sito, Lee. You know. All right. Follow me, campers. This way. Scoutmaster Yoshi looked so excited. This surprise must be huge. I think I have an idea of what he's going to show us. Yeah, don't get your hopes up. Come on, Yoichi. Don't be such a killjoy so early in the morning. Um, I, I think we need to hurry up. We're getting left behind by everyone else. Ah, oh, right. Let's follow them. Ta-da! Our very own obstacle course. Isn't this exciting? Uh. Wow! Amazing! Oh, wow! It's exactly like the ones from those game shows. Scoutmaster Yoshi, 
Just how long did it take you to finish this? I've been working on this since the start of this year's summer. I was able to finish it up thanks to that extra trip I got yesterday. I've arranged a series of activities for all of you to do today. This is going to be so much fun. First off, we'll be starting with track and field as scheduled, and then... Lame. This is probably going to be a mess, just like last time. Yoichi, stop that. Scoutmaster Yoshi is doing his best for all of us. Can't you see how much effort Scoutmaster Yoshi has put into all of us having an activity together? Yeah, I hate to burst your bubble, Mr. Perfect, but it's going to rain anyway. Hmm, the sky does look really gloomy. What? Are you sure it's not just because we're having cloudy weather today? Duh. None of you can tell it's going to pour down just from the smell? I'm out of here. Yoichi, come back here. Ah, uh, leave him be, Natsumi. A buddy shall never force another to do something against his will. Now, let's begin our activities. Nothing can possibly ruin this day. Famous last words. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, Yoichi was right. It was going to rain. And it's pouring really hard. We might catch a cold. All right, we'll cancel today's activities for now. Everyone, please head back to the cabin in an orderly fashion. Uh, Scoutmaster Yoshi, are you all right? I'm fine, Natsumi. Please, join the others back in the cabin. Oh, man, I'm soaking wet. Yeah, me too. Wow, it's really pouring outside. Yeah, it looks like a storm. Well, if that's the case, then it'll probably be raining for the whole day. Heh, <laughs> I hate to say I told you so, but I told you so. Ah, you don't have to rub it in everyone's faces. I'm actually impressed, Yoichi. Yeah, he knew it was going to rain just because of the smell in the air. <laughs> I really am awesome, aren't I? Heh, <laughs> talk about animal instinct. Hey, shut up, Torchhead. Well, what are we supposed to do now, Natsumi? I don't know. I still haven't received orders from Scoutmaster Yoshi. Come on, buddy, act independently. Uh, speaking of which, he looked quite disappointed, didn't he? Heh, <laughs> it literally rained on his parade. I feel bad for him. He's been working so hard on that obstacle course during the past few days. Oh, don't worry, Katero. I'm sure we'll get to have some fun with the obstacle course as soon as the weather gets better. Hunter sneezes. Oh, Hunter, are you feeling all right? Uh, I'm okay. My nose is just feeling a bit runny. Oh, we should take a bath as soon as possible. We'll get sick if we let ourselves dry out here. Okay, uh, you guys go first. Hmm? The bathroom is big enough to accommodate us all, Katero. We could all take a bath at the same time. Now we're talking. See, this is exactly, <laughs> exactly what I was talking about before. On the one hand, it seems, you know, it's sort of very basic lessons about how to be a good friend and supporting one another and, um, you know, never making somebody do something against their will and, you know, very basic lessons. And yet, we're all going to take a bath together. So it's this weird mixture. Anyway. Uh, what? You you mean, like, all together? What am I worried about? It's fine. Well, of course. We can't let you stay here with wet clothes on any longer. You'll catch a cold. Um. Hey, what's the matter? Afraid I'm going to attack you? Actually, that's what I kind of want, Yoichi, so... Huh? You're going to join us too? But you're perfectly dry, Yoichi. Hey, you can't tell me what to do. Hero, shut the fuck up. Let him join us. Besides, I haven't taken a bath in three days straight. Oh, he's just full of voicemail, isn't he? It could be disgusting, but it could be awesome. Can I tell you something? 
in high school, my best friend, who I was completely in love with, but he was straight, he had the best voicemail. He would go out. So I'd be over at his house, you know, during summer break, and his dad would say, go outside, mow the lawn. So he'd go out, he'd be out for an hour mowing the lawn, he'd come back inside, and he'd be like, oh, God, I stink. I can't believe how bad I smell. And to me, oh, my God, it was such a great smell. I can still smell it. I was so in love with him. Anyway, that's disgusting, Yoichi. I take at least two baths a day to maintain my hygiene. Oh, Natsumi. Buddy, you got to let go. Whew. Kato, think of it like how we used to take a bath together, but this time with more people. Sounds like fun. Let's do it. Uh, that really doesn't help, Hiro. It absolutely helps. Why am I so bashful about this? Anyway, we all need to go take a shower now. I've already brought out some towels. Uh, okay. Wah! Nothing like a hot bath on a cold day. Thank goodness this place has a heater. <laughs> we usually open it during cold days like this. Summer weather can be quite unpredictable. Scoutmaster told me not to open it on a regular basis, though. Because things might happen in here. Psh, just between you and me, Torchhead, I always turn it on whenever I take a bath. I heard that, Yoichi. So that's why the camp's electricity bill was way off budget these past months. Psh, what are you going to do about it? <sighs> Everyone's really taking a bath together. And it's perfectly cool. They really don't mind seeing each other naked. Hey, I just noticed. How come you're so full of muscles, Yuichi? Oh, it makes me wonder as well. I've never seen you work out or lift weights at all. Heh, <laughs> it's all natural, my friends. This is what you get if you keep moving around rather than staying in the cabin all day long doing lame and boring stuff. I wish I had a bigger body, too. Oh, I don't think it would suit you, Hunter. You already look adorable in your current shape. Uh, adorable? Huh. I have muscles, too. See? See? Me and Katero almost have the same build. How can they be so casual about this? <laughs> Strategically placed bubbles. Speaking of Katero, he's right over there. Oh, Katero? Why are you just standing there? I, uh... Oh, he's shy. Huh? Come over here, Katero. I'll wash your back. You're not shy with me, are you? Say, Katero, we were just talking about who's got the best bod here. Hey, don't even bother asking, all right? We all know I've got the best muscles around. Shush, wolf boy. Not everyone likes bulky bodies like yours. Well, that's true. Everyone has different preferences. I don't feel confident with this topic. Oh, Hunter, sweetie, you have nothing to worry about. You're sweet and adorable. I just eat you up. What about you, Katero? What kind of body do you prefer? Okay, so each of these corresponds to one of the guys. Slender but well-built. Lean and firm. Slim and petite is obviously Hunter. Thick and muscular is obviously Yoichi. Um, lean, lean and firm has got to be Hero. Slender but well-built must be Natsumi. I'm going with thick and muscular because Yoichi is my dude. Um... I think I like thick and muscular bodies. Why did I just say that in front of everyone? <laughs> and Yoichi is the first one to comment. Obviously, I picked the right one. Hey, I told you. Everyone likes muscles. Yeah. <sighs> I guess it can't be helped. Even I want to get a little bit more ripped. Hey, you want to touch my abs, Katero? What? Oh, come on. I know you want to do it. What? Katero is all red. 
Oh, my. Are you all right, Catero? Uh, I just can't believe we're all taking a bath together. You don't have to be shy around us, Catero. You're like a brother to us now. Why is yours so small, Hero? Ha! Huh, it's a lot bigger than you think. I just haven't woken up yet. The water was cold. <laughs> That's almost as small as Hunter's. Uh... But Natsumi's is longer than yours. Hey, that's not fair. You guys are cheating. You see, Katero? Everyone's really casual about this. Here, let me show you mine, too. And, and yet, I'm still struggling to deal with this for some reason. I don't understand. I must be really, really shy. Katero? Uh, I think I'm going to go rinse in the shower now. Maybe we went too far. <laughs> he looks so flustered. Well, let's go wash up too, I guess. It's not that I was embarrassed taking a shower with everyone. You were totally embarrassed taking a shower with everyone. What the hell's wrong with you? It's just that I could see everything from there. Oh, I see. And it got you excited and you didn't want to get an erection. Now I understand. And it just made me feel so weird. For some reason, when I was doing that, there was only one person on my mind. I don't know why, but I couldn't help but think about him in that way. You know who I'm talking about. After I finished taking a bath, I headed straight to the mess hall, hoping that I could act like nothing had just happened. Hello, everyone. Ah. <sighs> Unfortunately, playtime is over for today, so you're going to have to come back next episode to see what happens next. It's starting to get hot in here, uh, which, you know, frankly, it's about time. We've built up for quite some time now, so it's nice to see some action. Um, yeah, so we're going to see you next time right back here in the sandbox.